Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Edward. It's a Bryson set in 148 scale and it's quite unusual thing because here we get a P38J cockpit. It should be handy with recent Tamiya release which we also reviewed on our channel so you can check it before um, actually watching this particular cockpit so that you can understand what will be replaced but uh, i can also say that the original plastic is not that bad in terms of cockpit details but here edward decided to go a bit level higher so we get even more features and in 148 scale this should be a noticeable upgrade that's why i decided to take a closer look and here on the table we have actually the commercial sample and as you can see kit number is 648812 so the packaging here is quite standard for this type of series from Edward. As you can see, this is not that huge box with the 3D image of the actual accessory. And also here I wanted to note this small sign. It's written that it's print and it means that it was made with a 3D printing technology. And it will be even more detailed in comparison with traditional resin. So on the side here you will find some safety information and here we have also the price tag is $42.95, quite a hefty price tag to be honest and you should be really determined to get it because otherwise it's uh, I would say really serious purchase especially considering the price of the original kit I think it's almost equal to the uh, pricing of the original lightning from Tamiya. So it's quite easy to open as you saw I just cut the seal and there are more seals so just give me a second it's not that easy to open actually but in the meantime i can also remind you that you can support us with a small donation it's quite easy thing to do and if you are watching this video and you are not yet subscribed i would recommend to do so because it's really useful thing and you won't miss any new video reviews and you also help me to get a bit let's say more reviews on our channel so here you can see that the packaging is quite standard we had the parts secured in between two forms uh, two form layers actually we have here three plastic bags with parts and one plastic bag with the p parts and film so i suggest we start with the parts and then gradually we'll move on to other components which are included here and this is really i would say tender quality of the parts here we are going to start with this one for example and you can see straight away what i am talking about so all these thin frames you have to be careful in order not to break them off and this might get a bit tricky if you have a clumsy fingers next we continue here with a control yoke and this is actually a really beautiful printing quality in my opinion it looks amazing if you consider the size and you can see it in comparison with my fingertips even though this is a 148 scale kit still these parts require due care so do not underestimate it here we continue with rudder pedals these are also really beautiful and definitely better than what we had in the original plastic kit next we continue with various parts so this ones i will just place like that so that you can see what i'm talking about next we have the instrument panel here we have quite an interesting situation you will be surprised to see that we have the plane part here but do not be surprised because it's actually uh let's say base for the whole instrument panel all the dials and other stuff will be added separately next we continue with another control element for the cockpit and one more here i guess that's for the control yoke so all these parts come in the first plastic bag as you can see the casting or printing quality is really clean so there is nothing to complain about but the size of the parts will have um, I would say it's own requirements. You have to be really careful while separating all this stuff because you might easily damage it and then it will be quite a tricky thing to repair. Next we continue with the second plastic bag. So here I will put all these parts outside. So first of all we have the pilot seat. As you can see it is also printed as a single piece part. It looks really good. Of course we have to remove the supports on the bottom but that's pretty much all you have to do in order to get it ready to be installed onto the model. Next we continue here with the quite an interesting thing. So these are 
the details which are not copied in the original plastic kit as far as I remember. So here we have them in one piece part which is actually a handy approach. Next we continue with... I'm not sure where these parts will go, so if you know, feel free to write in the comment section or we will check it in the assembly manual. Next, we continue with another part for the frontal section of the cockpit. So here you can see that this bulkhead looks quite massive. Okay, we'll place it here. And you can also notice that all the parts are actually printed with the slight angle to the resin support. So it's quite an interesting printing method. Here you can see it in a, let's say, perfect example. But again, uh, the level of pre-molded or pre-casted elements here, for example here, is really amazing because all these features come clear and crisp and the only thing you have to do is actually to separate from the resin base. That's pretty much all. So here is the second plastic bag. And as you can see, here we get a bit bigger parts, but still they're uh, not that, I would say, easy to handle in case you do not have skills with such parts. That's why I would recommend to, let's say, think twice before starting such project. Next, we continue with the second plastic bag. Actually, third plastic bag. Here we have the final set of the parts. And these are the biggest ones because we get the cockpit four and cockpit wall. So let's start with the cockpit four. As you can see, again, we get the single piece part and it looks great. Perfect candidate for some washing and weathering. And I'll place it here, maybe. Next, we continue with the cockpit walls. So I will not bring them closer because you can see them perfectly just like that. But again, uh, note the pre-molded features here, especially here, this one. Okay, I'll bring it closer because we get, just give me a moment so that I won't break anything off. So we get all the handles and all the wires straight on the part. You don't have to add anything. But again, be careful while handling this stuff because as you can see, they're protruding from the wall and you have to think and watch on all these parts in order not to break them off. And I'm really surprised that they were not broken off during shipment because as you saw, they are just packed into one plastic bag, nothing extra to protect them from any possible damage. So, in case you wonder how the instrument panel will be assembled, it will be assembled with help of these dials. These are actually decals and we also have a lot of stencils and other dials which will be placed here and there in the cockpit. But that's not all, because we also get the... Just give me a moment. We get the steel belts. And we also get the clear film for the target sites on this aircraft, which is also a welcome bonus, especially in 148 scale. As you saw, there are two clear films, so you get actually three. So you get several tries to replicate these target sites. And now we can move on to the assembly manual. So this one is printed in form of large brochure. I will zoom out a bit. And this is a typical Bresin brochure, so in case you have some experience with these kits, you will not be surprised. And in order to start, you have to do like this. So you remove this middle insert, and here you can see the first steps. So we have to modify the Bresin parts, as you can see, also modify the original plastic parts. Also, manufacturers suggest to use the metal wire in order to replicate, obviously, the wires. So be ready for this, because otherwise you will not get these features out of the box. So next, we continue. That's actually the instructions for the two types of the radio stations. And then we continue with the cockpit assembly. So here you can see we start with the pilot seat and rear armor wall. We install the seat belts. Then we start building the instrument panel. And I can see that... We also get some paint instructions and choice between the parts, so check your references. And here we continue with the cockpit walls installation and of course the decals application on the instrument panel. Do not forget to replicate the glazing over the dials because it's not included here. Next, we continue with final steps. 
and these ones are getting more interesting because here as you can see we have to combine this thin PE frames in order to replicate it on the canopy here you get the choice between the radio stations installation and of course you have to modify the original plastic part so that this cockpit will actually fit inside the um, let's say standard construction and here on the opposite side you can see the small ad for other additional accessories for p38 we checked some of them so you can find it easily on our youtube channel and of course on the last page you can see the parts map paints chart and address of the manufacturer so this set should be already available and you can get it on official edward website together with other p38j sets in my opinion this is really great opportunity to improve features on 148 scale lightning but of course it will also involve a bit of money and of course i will be happy to hear your opinion about this release do not forget to write it here in the comment section below if you like this video press the like button subscribe to our youtube channel and i will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye